In the middle of the San Francisco Bay lies an island warehouse where a team of inventors imagines the future and builds it. Coming to the rescue is an old friend of Zaz's, electrical vehicle expert, Peef Sato. Thanks for coming by. Called this guy Peef. He's a friend of ours, really smart guy, knows all kinds of things about high current, high voltage applications. He's going to diagnose our system, and if there's something that's not working, we're going to get rid of it, put something in that works. Zaz gives Peef a tour of the damage, and the techno babble starts to fly. Something like 6.7 ounce inches per amp. Uh, Curve. Even staring failure dead in the face, our team is undeterred. I want to see this thing stand up and walk around and have the pitter-patter of giant feet on the ground. It's too cool of a project to get thrown down by an electrical issue. Okay, yeah. We can do this. I know we can do this. So the intrepid troop rallies for one final try. With time running out, the faulty motor controllers will be bypassed. Okay. Dismembering complete. Over the last three weeks, the proper measures have been taken to give the 6x6 the power it lacked the first time around. Come on, Rex. The 6x6 stands up slowly, and after it rises up and sits back down in the controlled way it's programmed to, the team knows there's only one test left for proof of concept. The big Rex must be able to move in the all-important alternating tripod gate, just like hexapods do in nature and just like the small Rex moved over the obstacle course over a month ago. Uh, that looks like walking. And once they start to move in sync, the team has enough to go on to meet their new deadline. That's not but will the new motor controllers be able to carry the weight of the chassis on its walk in the fields tomorrow? We are good to go. We're gonna bring this thing and frolic through the fields tomorrow. It's gonna blow your mind.